This video is going to be a part of a 10 part series centered around the history of anime robot designs. Part 1 The Introduction to Mech Anime Mech anime is a popular manga and anime subgenre that focuses on human piloted machines. Japanese culture has been influenced by it, and other civilizations have been inspired by the content. The aerial Gundam from Gundam the Witch from Mercury is one of the most current uh, Gundam designs, and will be covered in this series along with major anime robot designs. Since there are no non-Wikipedia sources for this anime, the episode centers on Soleta Mercury and her aerial Gundam themselves instead. This introduction to the Aerial Gundam. The second episode of the anime features the introduction of the Aerial Gundam, piloted by the anime's main character, Soleta Mercury. The basic structure of the Gundam Aerial is composed of joints powered by electric motors. Think of them like a group of muscles that are only active when the brain or pilot wants them to respond. Aerial may be controlled by individuals outside the primary pilot but Soleta is the only one with access to his tremendous skills. Part of it is powered by Permit, a mineral with properties resembling those of the gun arm, a prohibited device that had injured and kills its pilots, possessing these abilities. Gundam Aerial has bitch staves for weaponry that can separate it from the body to create shield equipment. Though Permit links it can command drones and gun bit weapons. This Gundam would have to be my personal favorite. Its sleek look and its similar colors to the RX-78 Gundam are particularly appealing to me. Overall, Aerial Gundam is one of the most significant mechs in the anime and has specific skills, or special skills per se, that no other Gundam that I am aware of possesses. Part 3. Soleta Mercury Soleta Mercury is a transfer student from Mercury who has sent to the Ats- Oh my gosh, I hate pronouncing this one. Uh, at the Kasia School of Technology, in hopes of making Mercury a thriving planet. Soleta finds getting along with people difficult, as she usually stutters while speaking, making her seem immature despite her age. She tries to comfort most scenarios with a positive and excited attitude, however, she can be hard on herself when facing challenges. To cope with her struggles, Soleta follows her mother's motto, If you move forward, you gain two. If you run, you gain one. Which means, you gain experience by taking action. Thus, you are rewarded with experience and trust by moving forward. As the plot grows, Soleta shows how, if properly motivated, her sense of responsibility and emotions can help her overcome challenges in order to benefit others in combat. Soleta is a determined fighter, but she is unaware of the risks involved. She uses Ariel's gun bits in mobile suit duels to make vicious and fatal attacks that can frighten her competitors and allies. Soleta is a very skillful pilot, especially when maneuvering the Gundam Ariel. She improvises and uses different strategies to adapt to different environments and opponents. She can maintain decent control over other mobile suits such as the Demi Trainer and the Atstakasia Scooters that are spawned throughout the school. Although she is often socially shy, Soleta still shows the qualities of a hero. Her journey showcases how motivation and determination can help overcome obstacles and contribute to the greater good. And there you have it, that is the first introduction to the mech anime designs. Uh, for this month, I am very sorry if I have a very wonky upload schedule. I think I might be uploading on, I, I don't know, like Thursday maybe and Saturday, but you shouldn't really trust me that because I'm not very good with schedules. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.